Welcome to Mijas, a traditional whitewashed Andalusian hill town situated just off the coast of the Mediterranean Sea at Costa del Sol. Today we are going to have a little walk through it and see what it has to offer. First I've got to mention that it's a great day trip option for those who stay at the resorts between Torremolinos, Benalmadena and Fuengirola. There is a direct city bus connecting to Mijas, so there is no need to have a car, which usually is a must when going to most other places in Dalothea. The best thing to do once you reach this amazing hill town is to go straight to the tourism office to get a copy of the city map. I was surprised to find such a convenient touristic map that displays all the interesting spots to explore. The tourism office also has a great view to the valley below. Next to it, there is a station for the local taxi horse carriages, and if you want to travel the old traditional Mijas way, donkey taxi. Although the donkeys didn't seem happy to me. So we chose to have a walk around the town on foot, even though there are quite a few steep hills all around. First on our route, we reach a chapel that was carved into a rock. Even though the chapel itself is closed, the area around it is just spectacular. There is a small garden with fountains, cafe, and a great view to the Costa del Sol. But the views don't end there, so there is no need to stay here for the day. Further on our route through the town, there is a small display of a traditional flour mill and nearby there is a miniature museum situated inside a caravan. On the other side of the road, there is a good view of the largest open space in town, Plata Virgen de la Peña, filled with cafes. A short walk from here, you will find Constitution Square, a tiny square squeezed between beautiful old town buildings. It's also surrounded by pretty souvenir shops and cafes, just inviting to slow down and enjoy the environment. Next, we go up on the steep hill to reach the Bullring. What is an Andalusian town without a Plaza de Toros? Although I don't approve of this activity, it is still is an important part of local traditions. This particular bullery was built in the year 1900 and it has an oval shape. If you don't feel like going inside, you can still get a view of it from the top of an old fortress watchtower next to it. What a great tower built at the edge of a town overlooking most of Mijas whitewashed houses. Also, at the same spot, there is a very good children's playground, from which it is almost impossible for the kids to leave without tears. What's even better around there is that there are gardens and a path along the fortress walls, with the best views in Mijas. From here you can see a large valley with plenty of golf courses and the beautiful coastline spanning from Benalmadena to Fuengirola. It's unclear when the fortress was built, but with this wide view of surroundings and the tall cliff it had been protecting Mijas from coastal pirates for centuries. Nearby there is also a cute 17th century parish church. From here let's go to a less touristic side of the town to see an example of how the mountain where the village is standing on was put to use. The villagers carved caves in the mountains to use them for stables, storage or in this case a forge. Interesting. Now, back at the probably the most popular spot in town is the Plaza de Libertad, which is actually an even smaller square than the one before, but it has very lovely looking chapel of San Sebastian, right at the conjunction of narrow streets. I found it being a great place to stop by and have a drink and tapas in one of the cafes. The street surrounding it has plenty of good souvenir and local product shops. Furthermore, just a few steps away from the chapel, there is Mijas Folk Museum. It is situated inside one of the traditional houses, with a beautiful flower-filled courtyard. The museum is small, so it doesn't take much time to see it all, but it gives a good look at how people lived back in the older days. There is also some local art exhibition rooms. Right in the same street, there also is quite an opposite of the Folk Museum the contemporary art center of Mijas. The gallery is small, but not poor. It houses a collection of Salvador Dali and Pablo Ruiz Picasso works. While they are definitely not the most famous works, they are still a great addition to Mijas attractions. But watch out about the timing. The center works only from 10.30 to 2 p.m. Unfortunately, that's the case with many of smaller museums in Malaga region. From here, you can either finish the circle around the town or head to a longer walk to the mountain to see the shrine El Calvario to have the best use of Mijas and the coastline, or even go for one of the many hiking trails through the forested mountain area. 
In the end, Michas really impressed me, being so simple, small, yet beautiful and well taken care of by locals who put flowers everywhere. Yes, it is a bit touristic, but it didn't feel crowded. The town felt welcoming, the locals were relaxed and friendly. The whole energy of it just made me want to relax, enjoy it with no rush. It's a perfect village trip from the super touristic coastal resorts. Stay tuned for more videos about southern Spain. And thanks for watching.